state once uh, we're able to put COVID behind our country. What about this concern about the new strains? Nearly 350 cases of the contagious COVID variant have been reported in Florida. Governor, how do you read that? Is there a reason for, for concern here? So, first of all, well, we obviously look at all the data that comes in, but, but there, this strain is in blue states, and they don't talk about doing anything with, with blue states. We do a lot of, of analysis and genetic analysis on strains, so we find more than probably some other states do. But here's the thing. Since the beginning of January, visits to the emergency departments for COVID-like illness in Florida is down over 60 percent. Cases are down. Hospital census is down 30 to 40 percent. And so you've seen a decline in COVID in Florida. Uh, and our winter high was much less than the summer high. But you've seen a decline all over the country. And so it'd be very odd to do a draconian travel restriction, which has no basis in the Constitution, at a time when all of these indicators are going down. And we really believe by focusing on seniors first for vaccinations, we're going to be creating a protective uh, shield for a vulnerable population so that if the season changes and you start to see uh, virus increase anywhere, that our, our vulnerable population will be protected. At the end of the day, that's really what matters. If you're not really yeah. vulnerable to this, then that's not as significant as somebody who has comorbidities or is very elderly. And so we're trying to focus our resources where the risk is, and I think that's the appropriate way to do it. Right. You've been adapting to this. We have to live with it. I want to take a short break, but I want to get your take on where this is going and your expectations. Also, your pushback on big tech. We're talking with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis as we look ahead on Sunday Morning Futures. We'll be right back.